Hi everyone, it is Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage and this is my design team project for Chapter 1 Papers and I'm using their Paper Roses Digital Kit. It is just beautiful. I just love all the colors. It's going to work great for this project today and um, I believe there are more than a dozen pages in this kit so there's a lot to use but I'm just showing a few that I'm going to be using today. I printed all of these off on just really inexpensive copy paper. So I have this stack of envelopes and you'll notice that the stamp, you know, was torn out. So I just really love the writing on them and I wanted to come up with a way to save them, to just make them beautiful again, basically. So my idea was to basically create like a pocket and I was kind of, you know, thinking of a way I could do that to hide the tear in it. So I was like, what, what would be, you know, kind of a simple way to really just do that? And I thought, you know, if I have a page and I just kind of glue it to one side and wrap it over to the front... I can create a pocket or a tuck spot. And so that's what I did. So what's really nice about using um, just the really inexpensive copy paper is that it's thin, the envelope's thin, and then I'm not adding too much bulk by, you know, gluing it to the actual envelope. So you'll see here, like, how awesome. It just camouflages it, and it just makes this really, really super cute. I... You know, this this actually turned out way better than I thought that it would, um, you know, because sometimes when you have a vision of something and sometimes it just, you know, you're not sure exactly how it's going to work out. But in this case, it was like even better than my expectations. I really, really like it, which you'll see all of that at the end. But right now I'm just, I tear off all the, you know, the edges. I should have printed it, you know, borderless, but at the time when I printed the kit, I knew it looked good with the envelopes, but I didn't really know what I was going to be doing. So I put glue on the back side and then I will put the paper down and then the, the, that shorter flap will flip over to the front to be the tuck spot. But it could be a pocket. You could stitch around, you know, on all sides of it if you wanted to. Well, or the, the two sides. Or three if you wanted to do the top, but it's not necessary when it's all one piece. But I'll stitch it and I'll just stitch, you know, really just the side. So overall, I really wanted these to have kind of like, you know, the the designs are already kind of, you know, like a shabbier kind of feel to them. And I went with that, you know, the envelopes aren't in, you know, this pristine condition. So everything just kind of was just heading towards like a shabbier look and feel. And so that's, you know, what I did here. So I didn't want, you know, these perfect straight edges. I really wanted it to blend into these envelopes as if these had been created a long, long time ago and not just, you know, here. Um, so I just used a little bit of like packaging paper, you know, to kind of just, you know, give it kind of more of like a rougher edge on that, you know, on that flap there. And then um, because it's copy paper and it's thin, I still wanted it to have a little bit of durability for the pocket side. So I will use, uh, you know, a couple different, you know, like book pages and stuff like that. You know, thinner ones just to reinforce it. And then I will, you know, distress a lot of them just lightly to... Um, because I've printed out on, you know, white copy paper... And I um, have torn the edges, they're white, you know, that it always shows the core of what the paper is. So I just feel like it needs toned down just slightly to kind of match the overall envelope and to give it that aged look that, you know, it's been there for a bit. So it's really just to kind of unify the piece, not necessarily to like really distress and, and age it, but you could, I mean... You don't have to distress it. You could distress it, um, but I'm using Vintage Photo. You know, if you like that color, um, Antique Linen would look, you know, really good here as well.
And then I'm just kind of roughing up the edges again to just not have, every, have everything be so perfect and straight and um, give it that shabbier look. And then I'll use this dictionary page for, I think that's what it is. It might not be, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not gonna see it, but it's, it's a very thin, you know, paper. And so I, you know, it, it just works perfect to kind of like reinforce, you know, the pocket side since copy paper is, you know, pretty thin. I'm trying to think it's like maybe 20 pound paper, I think. And I use a couple different glues. The glues I just used um, was Beacon's glue. And then, you know, you'll see me use the art glitter glue and the tiny little tube, um, you know, which I use for like smaller details. Um, you'll see that. But already, I mean, without me even doing anything, it's already, you know, kind of like super cute. And it's completely camouflaged that that envelope was damaged. Now you could use, you know, undamaged envelopes for this. This was just a remedy for, you know, all these envelopes that I had that were damaged. I just wanted to give them new life. And I could have just, you know, I could shred them and put them into paper and everything. But I just love the writing on them. And I love the coloring of them. And you can't just, you know, get that with like a brand new you know, envelope, although this project can totally be used with brand new envelopes if you wanted to. There's a lot of different projects you can do with envelopes. So you'll see as I go through all of these. Um, so here with this particular one, this is a really cool page. It's got, you know, kind of like this collage all over it. Um, and I just love this floral. Um, but what I fail to realize is that my page actually isn't long enough for this. So I should have done it a different way, which I'll do on a, another envelope later. Um, but for this one, you know, it was too short. And so I'll have to fix that. And obviously no measuring here because I have to just fix, you know, I had that all cockeyed. <laughs> So I won't fix that bottom section yet, you know, um, I'll think about it and try to figure out, you know, what, what may or may not work. Um, but ultimately, since I'm unsure, I just will move on and I'll address it later. So again, I add glue to the back. I just love all of the colors in this kit. It's so pretty. There's just, you know, this buttery yellow, there's the, the, the white and the cream, and then, you know, the pinks. Um, and the greens and the blue and it's just it's really pretty and it really goes well with these envelopes it's like it was meant for them so again I'll just reinforce it with this book page
so I'll do several of these and then I'll just put them off to the side and then, you know, cause I'm just kind of working and, you know, um, like an assembly line kind of. So I'm just kind of, you know, doing stage one and getting that done. So here is the envelope that I do things a little bit differently. So instead of, you know, doing the length of it, because it's not going to be long enough, because there's quite a large portion of envelope that's missing from this, is that I'll do it from the side. So you'll see where I fold it over. So when I match up my paper, I don't completely overlap, you know, the seam of the envelope because if you do, you'll have trouble folding it, you know, later. Um, so I just kind of move it over like a hair. Um, so here's where you see where I kind of do it a little bit differently. So I tear it off, you know, a section off to the side. So then I can flip this piece over to be the tuck spot. And I just guide my ruler along kind of like the bottom so I can have that kind of, you know, torn edge. But I do something kind of cool here instead of going into that, you know, because I felt like that, you know, tear was just a little bit large. I decided to, you know, basically kind of just fold the paper up to kind of camouflage it too. And it turns out really cool. I really like the way that it, that it looks when I was done. So I'm just removing a little bit of that white core and then gluing it down. So I think for this one, I'll choose like a book page, I think, to kind of reinforce that after I tear a little bit more off of it, I think. I recorded this over a few different days and then it's been a while. <laughs> so when I go to do the voiceover, sometimes I forget, you know, what I've done because, you know, so many other things have happened since I've done this. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll both be surprised together. <laughs> Yes, I did. I used a book page. So I have like my overflowing scrap bin next to me. And normally it's at the front of my desk, but I, I believe I pulled it off to the side. And so then that way, you know, I can just kind of grab instead of just, you know, going and pulling new pages from books, I can just kind of grab, you know, pieces that will work for something like this. 
Um, cause I try to use up those scraps and let me tell you, I didn't make a dent in them at all. <laughs> They're still there. There's so many, if you follow me on Instagram, there's like, oh my gosh, my, my, my little drawer thing is overflowing and it still is. It, yeah, this didn't, this didn't take care of the scraps. I need to do like a big collage session. <laughs> But, you know, when you craft, I mean, we just have lots of scraps. <laughs> it's just inevitable. So I know that the camera is a little bit further away, but like, you know, book pages you know, especially when you're going to, you know, when they're like this type of book page, you know, where it kind of tears easily and stuff. It just adds a lot of, gr you know, really great detail, you know, to the edges. And it's a lot of times it's just something that you can, you know, see when it's up close and in person and it doesn't, you know, relate very well on camera. But um, I really loved using that book page, you know, for that. It made it look really good all, all along the edges. So I cut out a couple of doing, you know, a couple of envelopes that I did because, you know, it's kind of the same, you know, repetitive thing, but you'll see where I had, you know, that blue envelope, I did that one. Um, and now what I'm doing is I am gluing these tags down to this like old, you know, piece of like, it was like a ledger page or something, you know, like the very front or back of it or whatever. And so it's like a thicker piece of paper. In hindsight, I would have actually have printed these tags out on cardstock. But at the time when I printed, I didn't know what I was going to do, you know, so I need to make these a little bit thicker. And so, you know, um, I'm just, you know, using what I have, but, you know, gluing them onto cardstock or a thicker piece of paper would work as well. Um, don't mind all those dots on my arm. <laughs> They're not permanent. Um, not that it would matter, I guess, if they were, but, uh, I actually did some acupressure. Uh, I'm getting older and my hands, uh, you know, give me trouble a lot of times. And so, uh, the acupressure, you know, really helps. So, um, that's what that is. And it'll go away in like 30 minutes. So just some pressure points is all that that is. So I'm just looking for an envelope here that will work for, you know, this size paper that I have. And so, you know, I found this like smaller envelope. I really think these turned out so good. I mean, they're so super cute. I just, I love them. I like I, it turned out just so much better than I thought that it would, you know, it just, it looks so good. You know how sometimes when you, you know, envision things in your mind and you're like, I think that could work. I think, you know, I think that could work, you know, and then you go to do it. And sometimes you're like, uh, maybe I need to like tweak that a little bit. Or maybe it's like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. You know, I love them. So that's like what happened here. I was like, I really was blown away. I couldn't believe how, you know, actually more, they were more cute when I made them, then they actually like were in my mind. I was like, I think that can work. <laughs> and you know, you could take this so many different directions, so many different, co you know, color themes or whatever. Chapter one papers has a lot of gorgeous digitals. Um, this is actually just a kit that I've never used. And I don't know, it was just, you know, sometimes when you look through digitals, you're just kind of like, hmm, I like this one, you know, uh, not that there's not a whole bunch to choose from, but you know, I haven't used this kit. And I thought, you know what, this is pretty. I really like it. And I had remembered that I had that blue envelope and all that stack of all those cream colored ones that were probably white at one point, maybe off white, maybe an ivory or something. Um, but anyway, I knew that there was like a blue one in there and I thought, you know, maybe I should pick something with blue in it. <laughs> and I just kind of was drawn to this kit, but it really does work. It really looks good. I really, uh, I just think they're really cute. Did you know that I think that they're really cute? Because I'm not sure if I made that clear that these are really cute. <laughs> oh, just never mind me. <laughs> I get excited over really small things. I really do. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm just roughing up the edge here. And I don't really like cut across. I kind of like take it and grab that paper. 
This is probably somewhat dangerous. I wouldn't really recommend it. You could probably inadvertently, you know, hurt yourself. So, you know, probably shouldn't do it. But that's my technique for you. Um, you know, I, I tear things and, you know, do all sorts of things. But we don't have much paper to grab onto. Sometimes you just have to have a little reinforcement. And my scissors just, you know, they take care of things for me. I have this like fast forwarded a little bit. So like when I'm like actually like doing this distressing, it looks like I'm a mad woman, you know, where I'm just like beating it up. But it's because I have this slightly sped up as well. I don't actually work this fast. No, I don't. So I embossed the one with the tiny roses on it. I think it's so cute. So I'm actually going to do that other one there. I'm like, you know what? It needs it. And so there you go. Boom. Look how fast that was. Oh, gosh. I think I'm getting like the giggles or something. <laughs> it must be, I must be tired. I must be a little tired. So here's another one that I'm doing. But this is really actually, you know, this is simple that you could do like a bazillion of these in a day. Okay, maybe not a bazillion, but like a lot. Like if you, you know, just want to do some really, you know, have some fun envelopes like this to just have ready for projects. This is, this is perfect. This is a perfect little project to do a whole bunch of them at one time and do like an assembly, you know, pick out all your different papers. And really, you could do several different color themes, you know, so you could do, you know, pastels and then vibrant colors, neutrals, you know, and you could just kind of line them all up and, you know, get them all done and then, you know, do the next stage, you know, whether you add a tuck spot or, you know, another pocket or, you know, whatever you want to add to it. Um, there's just so many different things that you can, you know, do with envelopes in general and then, you know, creating upon this idea here. There are so many different things. There's actually, a, I actually got a lot of ideas from this, you know, from making these and doing these. I was like, oh, you know, I could do this. I could do that. So, you know, maybe I'll, I don't know, explore the envelope world again one day and, you know, do something else. So right there, I just took a little bit. Of, I had gotten a little glue on that envelope and it had dried. And so what I usually do was I'll take the Beacons glue again and I'll just dab a little bit on there. And then just if you rub it with your finger, it just kind of like dissolves it and balls it all up and you can just take it right off. I think I've only had one time where that actually did not work for me. And so then I had to just do some collage. So I cut all these, you know, out um, that I had glued down, you know, to reinforce them so that they're more like a cardstock weight. And I obviously, you know, you don't have to watch me, you know, fussy cut. But now you're going to see me kind of like line things up, decide, you know, what I want to do. I'll actually, in this video, I only make like three of these into an actual like double tuck spot. The others um, that I did, let's see, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven total. So the other four, I just kind of leave as a pocket because a lot of times, you know, I don't actually have these currently going into a project. But when I do, I may want to adapt them or make them a little bit different or embellish them a little bit more. And, you know, when I create, um, there's things that I can do only so far. And then I have to actually see it. Um, I'm very visual. So I have to actually see it in place where it's going to be, and then I decide if I want to add more to it. Um, so sometimes there's like a stopping point for me. So I'll only take like three of these where I actually do this double tuck spot. And then, you know, I'll leave the others as is, and they may just stay that way, or they may, you know, um, become a little bit more, you know, later on down the road. So and I try to mention that, like when I will put them in something into a project, I'll try to mention, you know, that remember these or something like that. And, uh, you know, that way you can refer back to see if I've done anything different or if they're exactly the same. So these actually, these tags have whole reinforcements on them. So you don't actually have to do a whole reinforcement if you don't want to. I am doing it because I just want that like extra 3D kind of element. So I just, you know, am adding my own whole reinforcement. Um, and I just, I just feel like it just gives it that extra little, you know, 3D, but you don't have to, you can just punch a hole in it and, you know, call it done. And I think I actually will trim these tags a little bit 
smaller. So a little bit, you know, thinner. Cause I think I just felt like they were a little bit like too wide and too large for my project. I got carried away talking. I don't even know if I've done it yet. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see together what I did. Okay, so yeah, I, did, I hadn't trimmed him yet. So, um, and that's great. You can always do that. You don't have to use anything the size that it already is. Um, and sometimes I forget that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to cut it. This, this is the size that it is. But no, you can. You can cut it. Um, it's funny when we do that. We're always like afraid or at least... You know, sometimes I'm like that, you know, where I'm like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to ruin it, you know, da, 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 da. And then I'm like, I can just reprint it. But isn't that funny? I think it's that paper hoarding, you know, mentality because I'm such a huge paper lover that, you know, I'm sometimes a, you know, don't want to, you know, use up something or, you know, because then it'll be gone or, you know, ruin something, um, you know, to print something out. And, you know, I don't know. It, it, I'm crazy. <laughs> So anyway, I, to, you know, finish this long story, I just wanted it to be a little bit smaller. So I really just, I just cut a little bit to adapt it to my project. And I just think it's so cute, that embossing on there. Did it not just like, I really just think that it really, you know, it just hugged those roses. <laughs> You know, it just looks cute. I just love it. I really think it just added so much more interest and it just, it looks really good. I love these cards. You know, it, it's funny, like when you look at it again, when you're, you know, watching, you know, your video, when you're in the moment, it looks different. And then when I'm watching it, it looks different. And, you know, there's so many other things and ideas that hit me. And I don't think I actually used those car the journal those journal cards there at the bottom um but I'm wishing that I had you know used them because they did look good um this I will use but not on this particular envelope because that postcard is so light colored I'll actually use it on that striped one because it'll stand out more and I like it and I want it to stand out more not that there's anything wrong with you know blending in but um for this particular card I just I wanted it to be noticeable so I'm kind of playing around with a couple ideas there, as you can see. You know, and really any of them work. You know, wherever you want to put the, the tuck spot. It really just depends on what your overall look is. I'm just babbling on. <laughs> Honestly, there is so many different things that you can do. You know, so many different ways. Um, my main goal here is that, you know, not only was I able to give, you know, these envelopes new life, you know, instead of being thrown away or instead of, you know, ending up in my handmade paper, that I'm able to like use them, you know, and this handwriting is still going to be around. And, you know, I just think that that's neat, you know, even though that person doesn't know that their their letter is still living on, you know, I know, and I like that. And then also that, you know, I hope it inspires you, you know, to, to rethink, you know, maybe things that you were going to discard or get rid of, you know, or give you some new ideas, you know, of different things that you can do. So that's the ultimate goal here. And maybe even rethinking tags. Tags don't just have to be just a tag, you know, that you stick into, you know, a pocket. Um, you know, you can bend them and cut them and, you know, do different things with them.
so the light change there. I think this is like a little bit later. I must have done, went and done something or had lunch or who knows what. Or it could even be a different day. I don't know. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I mean, that's just, that's so cute. So that's the art glitter glue. Did I say that? Did I say that this was art glitter glue? I think I did. And I just put them in those little bottles. It just helps, um, you know, just, I don't know, to disperse it a little bit easier. Um, the larger bottle that I get it in, it didn't have any kind of like nozzle or anything. But I think you can buy them where they do, you know, the larger bottles have like the little, you know, nozzle because you don't need a lot of it. And, um, you know, it's really nice for like a finer, you know, line of glue. I love this envelope. I think I did this one off camera as well. There must've been maybe two or three of them that I did off camera that I didn't show. Actually, I didn't do them off camera. I did them on camera, but then I have to cut all that out because, you know, otherwise you're going to be here for like three hours with me. <laughs> That's a little long. <laughs> but you get the gist. You get the gist of everything that I'm doing. But I just, I love that floral. It just, it's so pretty. I think it just makes that envelope just look, you know, cuter than it already is. And you saw what I did with those scissors there. That's dangerous. I wouldn't recommend that at all. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so I'm just really roughing this one up. And I think this one is also, I'll use one of the labels and I'll like crumple it all up and, you know, just make it look really rough. Um, and then I'll glue it at the top there. But it's perfect as is. But I just, you know, I just wanted it to have like a little label. See, I'm thinking about it right there. That's instant aging right there. So on that one at the bottom there with the yellow um, stripe, I'll add that where I'm at right now. I'll add that piece of embossed wallpaper. So this wallpaper is kind of like that, like fabric slash plasticky type, you know, vinyl maybe like wallpaper. And it's got a really pretty sheen on it. And then on the back side is really, you know, kind of like these aged envelope colors. So I've been using it a lot lately. It embosses really well and is really pretty. Um, and I usually use the back side, but for whatever reason, um, I've kind of been liking the front side a lot. And so I'll use the front side, just kind of add a little bit of, you know, interest here. And I think it's really pretty. It turns out really, really well.
and you can't really like to hear it I think because of the plasticky nature of that vinyl-y wallpaper is finally a word I don't really think it is but anyway <laughs> um so I had to like cut it and then just I just kind of like you know dinged it up with my fingernails so I'm showing the three that I did make into these like double tuck spots you know so I just I stitched it you know along the side this one I did the top and the side because it was that one that you know folded over remember um, and then, you know, added their little, you know, tag or the card. And I just think, I think they turned out really super cute. They're super sweet. So I'm talking right now about how you could just make these into pockets if you want to. If you want to actually stitch down the side, you totally could. It would work to do that. So it just really depends. And I may, I may end up, you know, actually stitching them down just depending on where and how I use them. And then these are the four that I didn't, you know, put an extra like, you know, tuck spot there yet. Um, I may, we'll just kind of see, um, you know, when I go to put it into a project, but you know, at this stage, I don't know, you know, I'm not sure what I might end up, you know, doing with it, but I'll probably still add trims and things to it. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you at the stage that they are now. And that's that embossed ledger that I put at the bottom to fix that, you know, where I had that gap. And I just, got rid of the flap that was, you know, down there. But it would have been a cute pocket too. So I have my journal here and I'm just gonna show you, you know, like how these look and it's amazing like how cute they look in here. So you could totally just glue it down and make it like a little flip, you know, um, you know, to the page. Or you could stitch, you know, along a couple sides of it and, you know, make a pocket, you know, several pockets. So a pocket at the back, a pocket, you know, where the envelope is, a pocket where the, the tuck spot is, and then you've got that, you know, other one on top with the flower. And it could just be paper clipped together, you know, if you wanted to. I mean, there's lots of different things. You could, you know, glue it, you know, to the page on one side and then have it flip out on the other or, you know, make one side a pocket. I mean, there's just... See, there's a lot of different, if you just watch me, you can see like kind of what my thoughts are and what I'm thinking there for different options. Even though my initial idea was just to use it as a page, but seeing it in here, I thought it was really cute. You could even tear off the back part if you wanted to of the envelope and not even use it at all. So I'm showing like if, you know, pretend that that page was in there and then the envelope, you know, here is its own page, you know, and then the next page is the ledger. So that's kind of how I'm showing it. Because that was my original idea was to do it like that. Um, but then, you know, I just thought of other things too. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. Um, but I, I appreciate you watching. So thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.